Good morning, everybody. I'm Amalgam Ash. Welcome back to the channel. If you have ever gotten curious about your Smile Game Builder folders and you went into C drives, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, then Common, then Smile Game Builder, you'll likely have seen the folders in which your projects and templates and DLCs and the like are installed. Now, there's another tool in here that I'd like to talk about today called the Project Merge Tool. And what this is, if you click on it, it's not like super hidden or super obscure, but it's not really something that's advertised at all. And it can be easy to miss, but this actually comes with Smile Game Builder. It comes with your copy. You have it right now if you have Smile Game Builder. And when you open Project Merge Tool, you are presented with a screen that looks like it is partially in Japanese UI. That's just because it's bilingual. The instructions are right here in English as well. You can choose the parent game file, then choose the game that you wish to merge. And what that will do is it will actually take the two projects and merge them together. And I'm here to tell you exactly what kind of limitations this has and why it can be really cool. But we're going to go ahead and make two projects and we are going to merge them together to show you what they do. So let's just jump in. So here you have two text boxes and they will hold the paths to your games. Unfortunately, you cannot browse for the games, not sure why, uh, but that's okay because I have my RPG folder right here in C, users, and then I'm Amalgamash, but yours will be different. Documents, Smileboom, SGB, RPG. And I've got just a few uh, templates in there but we're gonna have to make a game before we have anything to paste in here. So, whoops, I actually have another instance of that open. Let's just go right into Smile Game Builder and click new project. So here's project number one. And it's just our house uh, outdoors. And then we also have our house map because that's what comes in every default project as soon as you open your uh, Smile Game Builder and create a new project for the first time. We're gonna make this a happy place. We're going to put lots of trees. We're going to make this look like a patchwork slash snowcat game with all the trees we're putting in here. Yeah, that's about one tenth of the amount of trees for this map that he would use, but that's okay. That's what we're going to use. And then we'll just put this, this giant stone head here because I feel like that he would do that too. So now that is going to be our start for our very first. And then for our house, we're just going to throw a gravestone right in the middle of the room right that's what we're going to do and we're going to go ahead and take our assets and not the assets the assets actually they won't change at all but we will edit the game data and for our game data we're going to call this thing project a and we won't mess with the subtitle or game description we will make the maximum inventory slots 500 and we'll keep the volume on the uh, BGM and sound effects the same. So starting party, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll remove everybody from the starting party, actually. And we'll just keep it as that. So characters, items, all this stuff I'm gonna keep in here. I don't feel like it's necessary uh, to change a lot of this stuff because I, I kind of know the result already. But for four directional camera, and eight directional camera to be in our common events list. I think that will be useful to show you something and we'll apply that and hit okay. No need to go into battle events. This is project A. This is gonna be our source project, our parent project. This is the project that's going to be accepting the other projects with which it will merge. So let's go back to our browser. Whoops, yeah, cancel that, save it proper. We're gonna call it project A. All right, bet you couldn't have guessed that. All right, so go back into our SGB browser, new project. Here's another one, but this one we're gonna make really sinister, right? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and delete that. We're gonna put this big altar here with a book, and 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 this needs more. What do we want? We want dragons. Yeah, that's sinister. You know what would be even more sinister is if we had instead of like nice grass, it was just bones, bones. So that's what we want. This is sinister. And now we're gonna go into our uh, edit game data and we're gonna call this evil project B. And then we're gonna go into our starting party and we'll actually keep Marie in there, but we'll remove Ignaz because he's a chomp and Marie is just the cutest. She's so nice. And then we're gonna go into the title 
or not, or we'll, we'll, we'll display a graphic for this one. We'll say Village of Miniature Garden is the title of our game, whatever. For common events, we're going to add the countdown timer just to show you what happens. Okay, so we are in our map for Project B, and the one thing that I really want to make sure I do is I want to drop two custom events on this map. One of these events is going to have our variable box and we're just going to grab this one and we're going to call it evil box b and we're going to assign 500 to it all right and that's a global variable for this project so anything would be able to access this right and that's all we're going to do there and we're just going to hit okay and then we're going to make another event here and this one's going to assign the number 500 to a local variable and unfortunately we can't name the local variables but it'll do, it'll be the second in the list so local variable one and we'll hit apply and okay and now another thing i want to do is go to add assets and go to dlc and we're just going to add say jacob's monster pack volume one okay this is in our b so it's like the evil project and it's it's going to get jacob's spoopy monsters all right so it makes sense right it, it does don't question me and we're going to grab uh, Jacob's talking tree and we're gonna shove it right here. It's a tree that grows only in bones so Yeah, all right cool and then for the uh, traps that just came out with SGB's last update. We have all these awesome traps They are so cool None of this is gonna make any sense at all Especially this giant rolling boulder, but you know to each their own don't map shame me, bro. And now I think we can save this file. So we're going to save it as Evil Project B. It's already got the name in there for us, and we're done. So go to your Project Merge tool, and I actually have the folder already open somewhere. Here it is. So here's Project A, and we're going to copy the path. I'm going to go right into Project Merge tool and paste it there. And then we're going to go to Project B, Evil Project B, and paste that path here. And I want to note to you that when you close this, these will be persistent and they'll actually stay in here. So the next time you need to open and use Project Merge Tool, you don't have to type all this crap out again or go looking for your project. You can just type, uh, replace the uh, very last part with the name of your new project folder that you want, or you can just leave them here. Now, the last part of this is choose the export destination. You can overwrite the parent game file, which I do not recommend you do, or you can specify a different destination, which will make a third project. So you'll have your parent, the one that gets merged, and then you'll have your brand new baby project. So when two SGB projects love each other very much. So then you can choose the new path for that, which I don't want it to go there. Why are you going there? We're going to make a new folder for it, and we're going to call it, you guessed it, uh, Mark Ruffalo. All right, cool. So select the folder and execute the merge. It merges super fast because there's just hardly anything at all to merge in those two projects. But we're ready now to take, oops, I forgot to back out of there first, but I don't think it matters. And we're gonna open our game file and we're gonna go ahead and open Mark Ruffalo. And here we are. Now I want to show you immediately that our map is intact, even though the start map and the second house uh, had the exact same name it's added them into our first project just fine there's no problem with it and it actually is calling our project project a up here at the top don't worry about that our project is not project a it's just retaining the name of that project so we still have our house with the grave in it and then we still have our house from project b now if we click on our map for project b here are some things i want to show you all of the assets that come with sgb are gonna display because they are in your project uh, for both projects. Jacob's tree is not. Can you guess the, why that is? It's because I did not import Jacob's project, uh, Jacob's DLC rather, into project A. And so the, the child project, the one that gets merged with the source, if it has any DLC that you really need to use, that stuff needs to already be in project a so i think that this is a great way to kind of prevent unauthorized distribution of third-party assets but you'll notice the outline and stuff is there as soon as i import the uh the monster pack it'll show up just fine 
so you can do that and voila here we are talking tree made of of resources from bones is back in action i do want to show you uh the game data really fast it does retain all of the information in the game data file because all of this essentially all of these things are are what constitutes the sgb pack that gets created when you when you export your project so all of this stuff is it's going to take precedence now on our party members we did remove everybody and in the second game we added marie but it's just irrelevant that stuff's not going to translate over so all of that gets lost but everything in project a stays which means your main project your parent project is the one that you're wanting to work with anyway so that's the one you'll make sure is project a uh so we will go look at the common events and your common events are going to stay the same for project a as well because it's part of the game data uh, anything that you have in project b will not translate over at all uh, as far as game data the game data file now when we look at our events the local event uh, or rather the event that used the local variables was kept yeah this is great this means that you can create entire systems that only use local variables and you can share these as projects and other people can use the project merge tool to incorporate them into their project the only downfall is that global variables uh, do not translate over so instead of the global variable you will get hit with the default nameless and that's not something that you can translate into your project but the logic is still here the value that i put in the 500 that's still there so it is entirely possible for somebody to share their system that has global variables and all the logic and everything set up as long as they provide you instructions with which of those variables should be the same now one thing i did not test was to uh, make the focus a different variable so I'm gonna do that really quick and see what happens so evil project B we're gonna select that event and I'm actually gonna make it variable 9 we'll hit OK and we'll save the file and we'll go back out to the browser and I'll go to this tool and I'll execute the merge and I'm gonna save over the existing Mark Ruffalo and then we're gonna go back to SGB and we are gonna open the Mark Ruffalo project and then we're gonna to go to our evil skull map and we're gonna check out the events and it actually keeps the box okay when you look at the global variable in this event it's not going to keep the name of the variable but it does keep the position see where it's number nine this means that you can if you want make an entire system that utilizes local and global variables and you can share this and people can incorporate them into your their projects so it will retain the position of the variable it will not retain the name of the variable in the merger project but it will retain the name of the variable in the parent project and i think that's super important and that makes all the sense in the world but it does keep the events and if it'll keep the variables i haven't tested every single event panel but it's so far every single event panel translates over just fine uh, the value that gets assigned to string variables ought to stay as well and so since you're doing all of your variable assignment dynamically within your project through events then whatever event that you have that's doing that assignment will translate over and there shouldn't have to be any work at all on the recipient's part for them to take your their your system and merge it into their file so any questions on this i'd be happy to help um, i've done as much testing with this as i feel i need to to be pretty confident that this is a really great tool for sgbers to use and you can hit me up in the discord as well if you have anything so uh yeah take this information fly fly and i will see you in the next video thank you very much for watching if you thought any of this was interesting or inspiring motivational at all Please take your Hulk hands, and I call that Mark Ruffalo. You should subscribe just because of that. That's
It's genius. I have less than 500 subs. I'm out here talking about Mark Ruffalo, Hulk hands. <laughs>